I, I've got some really old style 3D glasses. I've no idea so many people will be coming. So I'll just pass the QA try you to sort of share as we go along. It's uh just just pass around it. Sorry. Anybody, I might be a bit over generous up there, but maybe if, you, if you've got one, if you've got two people, you can no more than one between two of us, keep it out and to grab I love you this past man. It's about four or five stars. I've only got Right, okay. Uh, uh, first of all, I want to just say that um, this is not my idea. Like my magpie, I found this for somebody else. Which I must be honest, I have no idea who it was. But some meeting somewhere, not teach me, but meeting. Someone showed this, and I was really impressed with it. And it's 3D. Is it looking 3D to you at the moment? Not with the lights on. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. You don't like might turn the lights out the last one, perhaps. Yeah. Um, so the person that was doing this, they they had dinosaurs. The, 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 uh, the images can be found on Google Images for free. Um, just put, you know, 3D image, red cyan. And um, this teacher used used dinosaurs. I looked around. I like, couldn't seem to find the quality of stuff that he had. So I've uh, also come across all sorts of other things. And I was, um, I was down there saving them. And my problem at first was well, I couldn't quite see but how, how can we string these together? Because as you can see as we go through, they're, you know, they're just old images. And then I figured, well, of course, if we got to do um, to, uh, um, a dream, a nightmare or a dream, then of course each, each image could be as different as you wanted. You wouldn't have to connect because dreams just shift from one thing to the other. So that kind of got me around that problem. I should say I'm an English teacher, so it's obviously creative, creative writing we're doing it. So normally I bring, I bring this slide up like that and we do a little bit of like talking about the slide. I don't know if you've seen uh, Tim Ryland's talk, his work on this. You know, you know Tim Ryland's there? You know, he shows the image, he gets, he gets kids to talk, make notes, and then do a little bit of writing, and then go on to the next one. So, uh, and it depends on the yearbook that I've got, I don't know, you know different age groups, but we might look at that and might try to start off by saying where are we, and we might jot down about what the, the temperature might be like, and we go over and we touch this thing, or what does it feel like, and maybe what it reminds us of, something it's almost a bit like a, uh, like a whale, like a whale bone or something like that. You just get some ideas going. Uh, sometimes I've had drawn up sheets of vocabulary to, 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 to support them with their, with their words, and then maybe do a little bit of writing about it. Uh, okay, so that's my first one. I've got lots of these, I've just picked out four or five tonight. Uh, I don't know, is that, is that, is that three ding enough for you? Have you got that? Have um, you got that? I don't know. Oh, well, maybe we'll just take my work. Put we'll, we'll the lights off, it becomes quite powerful. Um, and as you see with this one again, we've, we've got, uh, sometimes I'll do it, uh, I might have a little bit of 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 and some uh, asthma. I mean, it's just a weeds to get out of work. But, um, uh, but I have thought, not done yet, but I'm sure there'll be ways of getting things like a kids' parties to pass around with smells so that we might generate some language about that. Um, now, this one here, a sound on, please. And then, then I found you can obviously you can go to the you know, iTunes and you can get sound effects. And I won't go back on. Okay. We moved from in the acts the process of moving my the DVDs, the, the slides from me. Brilliant email. Did you watch it? Have you read it? Um,
All right, well, you have to have a word for you. The only thing we're attracting, what are you having? I've got sounds of snakes going. Okay, so just get that sound thing. You can talk about that quite a bit. Uh, you know, they're generating, you know, how the snakes move, how they move this stuff, are they sliding across, are they ripping across, and just generating lots and lots of language. And each time they can write like, a paragraph about each picture. We also get them talking about, about you know, about the moving, linking paragraphs, you know, so the previous paragraph, I, I might give them a sentence and say, yeah, behind me I could hear something hissing. They, and then they've got to turn around, I turn around to face some snakes or something like that. So we get an idea of linking your paragraphs up. And then, um, yeah, not the sound. and then, this one here, the sound you should, you would hear that it's working is heartbeat, like a sort of heartbeat. <laughs> And we've tried there maybe to get them to write in very to write it staccato. You know, I turn, I see, I face, it's green, it's large, and that sort of stuff. So try and get them to get the rhythm of the writing going along with what they're looking at. Um, and I know that's why I think one of you know there's there's such expressive faces, you took a lot about the expression of the space, but this is skin for your life. So, it's so really just look at the different, the different, uh, the different senses, uh, smell, touch, and so on. I think it's about that. that, that I believe it, that's what we work like. They start, when you start shifting the notes of the new big sounds into PowerPoints, once you start shifting them, I think I've gone from an older PowerPoint to a new PowerPoint. You can't get these sort of technical problems. If you make it yourself on your own PowerPoint, you can really make it happen. I don't know, actually, just another sort of thing. Okay. That's that one. Is that coming across? Can you get that out? Yeah, that's my favourite. I think because you should give that one to Lars. It does seem to come right out of it, I think. That one. And it's going to be a bit of a smell of breath coming across you. And the saliva, just like a big lump of steel coming down and so on and so forth. So I've used that. Um, I've done that with some primary school kids, secondary school kids. And they're always quite, you know, I've well, not quite had a good response off it, really. Uh, they the engaged. It's good fun passing the glasses around. You can pick up the glasses on the internet. I think that they work out about a pound a pair. You know, you get a pack, a pack of 25, 20, something like that. It's not very much money. Those have lasted quite, I think I'm down to 27. So, is it, you know, some of them go into, you know, a bit, but, um, but you know, it's, it's, it's not that expensive. The, the, uh, the slides are all free, they're just on Google images, and any sound effects that you want to add. 70 people track that sort of functions. I think I'm, I'm happy to share any of this stuff. You've got all of them, um, but I don't want well, to copyright. You're welcome. 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 You're welcome.